Um, when I worked in rental car, um, my first regional manager um, was a guy named Sam. Um, you know, he was, he, you know, he always told me he wasn't the most educated man in the room, even though he had a master's. And <laughs> his conversation to me is he said, here's what I want you to do, son. He said, can you get him to come back? And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, can you get him to come back? And I said, um, I, I guess I don't understand. He said, you know, he said, you know, I went to class and they talked about, about making profit and renting the cars and making sure that you charge the most amount of money for the cars and making sure that you cut your expenses. He said, I don't give a hoot about any of that. Can you make him come back? I like this guy. <laughs> and I said, well, I guess I can. He said, that's what I'm worried about. He said, if they, he said, if they spend a hundred million dollars with you today and you make your money off of it today and they don't ever come back, you got to find somebody else to spend a hundred million dollars. He said, can you make them come back? If you make them come back, then we make more money. Then everybody's happy. Then I don't have to come down here and yell at y'all. And that was what I started to tell some of my employees when I got a management job. I said, the longevity, the repeat business, can you make them come back? Yes. I said, if you can get the client to come back, Everything else is going to fall by the wayside and everything else is going to work in our favor. So when we come to goals, and I know it's, there's, there's, there's not a necessary number to look at that, but sometimes business growth is how many more customers did you have tomorrow mm -hmm. than you had today? And part of that equation is the easiest way to get more customers tomorrow than we had today is to keep the amount of customers that you have today and then work with the existing customers that are going to come into the pipeline because their cars going to be traded in and they're going to need more work or it's going to age. But the, the, the thing is, I think sometimes we forget about the clients that we lose either because maybe we didn't pay attention to them. Let's say it's not part of our pay plan, or maybe we don't think that they're important. Sure. 